there are situations when we are meeting people who once were so-called believers and because they have, might have done some mistakes or sin or even committed some crime and then they feel so guilty that they feel that they are far away from God, that uh, they will be rejected or already rejected and it's very hard for them again to... Uh, uh, come to the, back to their faith and uh, uh, strengthen their relationship with God. How to encourage and how to support people in such a situation? In this podcast series, I always thinking for uh, how to be clean from religious thoughts, theological uh, doctrines, a lot of teachings from here, from there. It's uh, in my heart for share about the experience, what I uh, experienced with the Lord, with the leadership of the Holy Spirit, and also um, I share something, uh, the Bible verses, uh, what is can connect to my story. Um, this question, what just Gabriel given now, uh, it's a very, 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 very important question. For many people had such uh, experience and they go far away from God for feeling guilty and separation and they cannot feel God's love. Uh, of course, uh, theoretically or theological or through the Word of God, uh, we can know like uh, Luke chapter 19 and verse 10 says, For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. So very interesting for God exact the opposite side in searching for those people who uh, really lost and they will get very far from the Lord. And uh, as I like to talk and share about my experience, therefore I like to share about my backslider story, what is not exact, uh, maybe connected directly to the question, but definitely I had one year in my life when I was very, very far from God. The salvation was amazing and I was really excited as I accepted Jesus the same day when uh, I've been with my girlfriend in a, a meeting uh, where we really liked to go and uh, finally uh, we experience about the love of Jesus. So people can think, wow, this is very romantic. But honestly, that was the last day in our life for um, when you saved, you are a new creation and old has gone and new has come. So uh, please those who really praying for maybe your boyfriend is unbelievers and oh, uh, let just my boyfriend believe Jesus. Yeah, this is wonderful, but maybe this is your last moment for you can continue your relationship with your boyfriend for maybe just God separate you from your friend. And this has happened with uh, this girl also for after salvation. We absolutely was separated. We, we just felt for our life is really changed. But um, I think so. Her direction is was uh, more uh, uh, how to say in His grace. Now my life was about His grace, but. Uh, I think, uh, and let's talk about my side, I 
get in the wrong way. And maybe I a little bit uh, get uh, too much uh, pride, maybe. But uh, I get another way, and finally this way is not brought me to a living connection with God, but brought back to the world. And even I believe Jesus, but I be and uh, the transfer to be a backslider. So just go to friends, you know, and uh, drinking alcohol and just basically live just normally the same life as an unbeliever. And uh, I don't feel any guilty. So a little bit different what a question uh, sharing. The separation was uh, uh, like you have no any connection with the Holy Spirit of God, but you believe in God, and even you read the Bible, and even my many Bible verses just show up but for what you're doing is right. So even God sent my friends, those who shared the gospel originally to my life, but I just keep continue and live in the worldly life under one year. So I was really backslider. But I remember after one year there was Christmas. Just like now when we passed the Christmas time and I be very, very lonely. A very long time I not met with my friends. I don't know anything about my old girlfriend, but I just felt for, I'm very, very alone. And uh, God visited me. And there was really a very interesting for how so true, and I read once again, the Bible verse, for the Son of Man come to seek and to save the lost. And I believe Jesus just visited in my room and I felt for it's wrong what I'm doing and I need to go back to Jesus. I need to go back to God. So I some way found out where leave my girlfriend and I just called to her and I asked her if I can come and meet with her. So I visited her apartment and I remember I just come and I just cry and cry and cry. And she said, you not search me or you not come to me to visit. You really searching Jesus, you really searching God. And that was true. And after one year, I get back to this very small group uh, whom basically I born, uh, newborn as a little baby and she was very wondering for how oh, come, for I come back, for it's really very difficult to come back when you backslide her. So this is the one of the things for how uh, impossible to describe about God's love. So it's impossible for you, for maybe you listen to this podcast and you suffer so much separation from the Lord and you feel so much guilty about sins or mistakes or anything that you may did it. But I like to share for God is a faithful God. We may be not faithful in many ways in our life, but He never leave you and never forsake you. And this is not just a nice slogan, but this is really true for even you cannot feel this love, but it's always with you. It's about your decision. You need to make a decision. And it's God's mercy. For, of course, when the love of God is touching you, and uh, 
very difficult to to ignore. Of course, you can reject. You have choices. And I'm sure for God, once again, once again, uh, come and knock on your heart's door. And uh, you must know, maybe you can't. Many times you said, I can't. But the question always, do you want? And if they come in your life, this uh, possibilities for you just cannot, you just cannot know what to do. But I want the Lord to go back, but I don't know how. Be encouraged, for it's enough. The rest of God's work. For you may have bound by many demonic uh, uh, situations and, and you don't know for how rejoicing about the uh, the spiritual world what is uh, full of demonic forces but when you decide for lord i want i cannot i don't know what to do and come back to you but i want so you are the winner already and uh, i just put um, uh, the story of the parable of the lost son and if you have uh, time just read it's here in the description in the, this YouTube uh, uh, story a podcasting and you can see for when this lost son decided to go back to the father's house how the father running to him and how he's just uh, hug and loving his son who is was yeah, he was dead and is alive once again. So you who may standing in this situation for you feel absolute uh, separated from the love of God and love anything, you just feel like dead. Let's just sing, Lord, I coming, I want to come back. I may cannot know how but I want, and this is enough.